Down we go. Bum bum bum. Long ass uh, gun line there. Bum 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 bum. Need trains. No, I am patch. Why are you not producing? Because you two are the wrong way around. Ha! You the same. Look, you just have to me. Okay. Fight and set us. Hello. 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 How are you doing? So you've been build busy building guns, you two. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Guess you were. <laughs> it's a default position on Discord, it's just, just mute it by default. Let me guess you were talking to us. Always. Best way of doing it. Talk to people if they can't hear you, then they can't complain. <laughs> I see you've been busy uh, building guns, there's a big on gun line up there. Um, <laughs> never. I know that we need batteries. Right. Well, batteries require um, oil. <clears throat> yeah, that would be the reason why I uh, went over here. Yeah, it's the best one to go for. It's got quite a large resource there as well, with minimal uh, bases nearby compared to the other ones with the bases right next to them. <coughs> and of course, the uh, Vitus set up a nice new base right next to the uh, oil on the uh, on the northwest, because they will replace bases if you destroy them, or if they just leave town, they'll make new bases. Yep. Right. <coughs> so. What do we need? You said there was a motor facility and pipes. It's in the middle. Uh, Just follow the somewhere. iron gears. Follow the iron gears. <laughs> As, uh, I always thought it was follow the white ah, rabbit. There they are. I see you too. to move them because we can use the uh, engines to make cars, trains and also um, the bots as well. But that oh one, yeah, that's not problem. Where they are right now it's fine because it's just for crafting quick things. Yeah, I just needed uh, the little engines to make a car. Yeah, have you driven the car yet? I've crashed it into everything. <laughs> yep, that, that's basically what happens. <laughs> All right, we now need power and the resource build over here. <clears throat> when it comes to the oil, um, it's best to, rather than try and pipe it back to the base, probably best to have a train bring it back. It's probably the more entertaining way of doing it. <laughs> have a little oil train station on both ends. Yeah, I'm just trying to uh, get the 
Uh, basically, the um, ammo belt. That's the name. Uh, piped in. If we get the oil, the ammo will be the same way the uh, lasers will take over that role. But that's going to be a while yet, I think. I would still leave the uh, turrets, the guns. You would, what you'd do normally is you would sort of replace every other turret so that you've got uh, an alternation of types. Because some, I think some of the enemies seem to be uh, weaker to certain things. Also, yeah, when you're at, if you're at a power one, there you don't lose all your defenses. That would be the reason. I would leave them standing. Yeah, so I'm going to get a machine up and running that can make very nice uh, train tracks. Because we're going to need a lot of them for this. <clears throat> so we can get a train across to where you are, bring it back here, and we can also tap the other oil as needed then. I would run the train line along the ammo belt, if uh, that's okay with you. Uh, that is fine, because it's basically something around there, you've already made a track for vertical so the train can go and look vertical at that turning point you've already done. Unless you can declare a new section. And then once you've got one train up and running, it's not a long time to get another train up and running. Just for reference, that car that you made, um, you can actually just pick them up and put them in your pocket if you want to carry them through like woods to get the other side. Because, you know, the pocket's like TARDIS's. Alright, they're like the uh, Jinko pockets. jeans. <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Uh, they're old uh, jeans from the 80s and 90s that had pockets big enough to hold an iPad in them. Okay. There's a reason why the military uh, keeps calling them cargo pants. <laughs> okay. Just for reference, or if you know it, um, if you need, to, if you put a chest down, but you just want to start a small amount, that red cross is where you, how you can cap the amount of slots available. Oh, are you looking at the very top uh, where everything funnels into? Yeah, yeah, they're fine. I'm just I'm saying for any like if you're doing like a small run, like engines, for example, rather than producing like seven thousand engines and go, well, I want you ten. Um, that's just an example. I'm not. Seen anything particular, but uh, the way you do that is you just go to the box, the chest itself, press the little red X, and then p pick like three slots, and it'll stop producing after it's three. Yeah, that one just stops because it runs out of uh, the info out of where the uh, materials are that little box. Oh yeah, but if you look at the just look at the uh, engine box now, I just did it on there just an example. Oh uh, yeah, I saw one earlier like that. Yeah, so all you do is press the red X, and then you select how much you want to limit it to. Anything in white is what it'll, it'll produce up to and stop. And you press X again to get to cancel it. It's good for like I want to produce so many. Um, I want to produce bullets in a chest for pickup, but I don't want to produce a full chest worth of bullets. So I'll just do a, a one square worth. It's a good way of limiting production on something when you don't have uh, circuits to do it with. Right. So this build train engines to require stone. So rather than bring stone up, I'm just going to head down to the stone uh, quarry and do it there. Is this... No, it won't. There's no steel plates down here. Ah, screw it. Gold stone. Give me the stone. Alright, <clears throat> the um, oil patch is now secure. Excellent. In order to make the Type 2, uh, Type 3 science, you're going to need oil. For the batteries and the red circuits. The pumping jacks, probably on the production one. <clears> the <throat> best thing to do is place all the pump jacks down, pipe them with underground pipes to each other, and then have them pump into a, a, a tank. That way, there's always a reserve. Yeah, I'm currently just clearing more of the forest uh, to make space for the train track. The train track wants to be the ideal size is a single track is a single track, then two squares wide for power cables from down the middle, and then uh, <coughs> for long runs for the what you've got now you've already got power out there so it's not an issue. But then you want to 
I don't want to try to go for the other direction so you don't end up hitting everything two trains out. Uh, not gonna happen anytime soon. Why hit two trains? No, uh, that amount of space. It's ideal. I mean, you always Unless. narrow when you get to that point, so. so you can make six. You may. We can do that, rail. can't we? Get the rail. Yeah, use you and your blue we have a box for wood. <coughs> uh, wood. I don't think we do. What's the best thing to do with wood? If you anything that burns, it can you can just use it as a fuel. Yeah, box. we can we can burn them. So if you find any like um, steam engines or anything like that, use it in your car engine that kind of stuff. Okay, because I've got like 1,200 or so, or maybe more. Yeah, there's always. We need bots to just empty in people's inventory out of wood. <laughs> That's basically a full-time job now. <laughs> Put down the steel chest somewhere um, down by the... Um, over here. <coughs> if we... Uh, yeah, drop a steel chest somewhere. It's fully full of wood for now, we'll uh, deal with the wood later on by dumping it into a... Actually, a better idea. If you take one of the steam engines, one of the filters, and put it on wood only, because that gives it useful wood thing, doesn't it? The chest, and that way, that last burn, uh, that last one, we're always using the. Uh, <coughs> we'll always use the. Yeah, that stuff. Wood. Alright, where's my uh, train bits? There they are. Do, do, do. Now, how much do you take? You take this different five. The next one takes zero point five. Ha! How perfect is that? So I just need a fast inserter there, a fast inserter there, <coughs> and uh, which burner uh, was it that always uh, only used? Oh, that. Never mind. Found it. We just need to split to him the automation because he's used like many other things. Um, if you are in need of help with the blue goo, just uh, tell us. The blue goo requirement right now um, is actually a. Um, if that's the oil, is that is what? What, you, is what you actually need to bit to make it with? So, at the top of the little lab section, there's a wooden box with alien artifacts. Okay, great. Actually, the easiest science to make is actually the uh, purple science at the end, because it literally just it's made up of one. Uh, an artifact. It's kind of weird because it's the last tier when it's easy right. to produce. Uh, what was the uh, perfect amount for a train track? If you build one piece of track in your inventory and use it as a template, <coughs> it should be one piece of track for going northbound. 
then a two gap for power cables and stuff to go like convey belt stuff to the middle and then another one to the track next to that for the two directions so basically four uh spaces correct two spaces between them yeah so two spaces the tracks and two spaces between makes four makes six two and two with rain plus two in the contracts too wide i believe if you think about like normal build stuff oh, on with... tracks like one wide i don't know actually can't remember. But we'll find out. I probably am wrong, I'm pretty easy to go around, but. Make me train tracks. You go there. You go there. Make. And then. Hopefully that will produce track. Doesn't end tough. Um, you need an input of metal that I can bring down from there. You're going to output to there. Use a little bit of space next to the wire uh, circuit production, which is like a perfect little place just to sneak in a, a, a train track build. <laughs> just need a red arm and then a splitter there. You. Still just clearing more of the uh, oil patch, which is basically covered in the wood. And there still keeps uh, keep uh, more oil patches appearing. Yeah, it's a quite large deposit, is that one actually? What are the percentage on them, by the way? Mm. 60, 75, 42, 69, 45. Not good. Well, Might be large, so but. Uh, they don't run out, by the way, just so you know. Quite a bad yield. Yeah, they don't actually. Final by understand, they don't run out. They just. Um, <coughs> what do you call it? They don't, run, they don't actually run out, they just. a slow to produce. Mr. Washington, what are you doing? I see uh, warning signs flashing in your vicinity. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Why don't I believe you? He's playing with friends. <laughs> and here I was uh, thinking that we were his friends. <laughs> well, he's got a red symbol, so he's taking damage. Have you taken the territory of you, by the way? Yeah, I've got two. Good, cause they're a good way to uh, base creep into enemies. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Does the car auto turret as well? Um, the car has a turret, but you have to put ammunition into it yourself. <clears throat> so when you get into the car, just press E and then there should be a car's inventory for the gun. Just put your ammunition into the car, then press space and it'll shoot anything nearby.